coming out to everybody out in America. Oh, hi everybody. Today I'm here with Nicholas Leonard. Um, and today he's going to show us about environment here in Kigoma. Uh, we're here in Kigurizi. Hey Nicholas, just talk, tell, them, tell them what happened. Yeah, man. Just like we talked last week, today we're here um, in Kigoma, which is like uh, 300, 345 miles away from the capital city, which is Dodoma. So we're here in Kibirizi. Actually, we're gonna light up and see how people here in Kibirizi, how they get to make uh, their own money, how they get to have some money, like what they do every single day they have like to get paid. Um, so you see that uh, street over there at the horizon? That's where we're gonna go over there, and we're gonna go over there and see how people live and how people get to make their own money and how people live. So we're gonna actually light up the social activities and yeah, everything about it. Yeah, so you're more than welcome. Don't go nowhere. Okay, we are now going over there, so stay tuned, don't go nowhere. Hood News Radio, this is the team Hood News Radio, man. Shout out to everybody out in America. This is Lake Tanganyika, as you can see it. Okay. Um, it is the deepest lake in all of Africa. Oh, wow. Actually, the deepest, deepest, deepest lake in all of Africa. Uh -huh. It actually connects more than uh, it connects three three countries, like um, Congo, Burundi, and Tanzania itself. Okay. People use this lake for their daily social activities, um, like fishing, like even 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 like um, drinking some water with it. You cannot believe that some people drink some, some of this water without even boiling it. And it's not really safe for what? people that are actually living in Kigoma. Are you serious? And I'm serious about it. Um, yeah. And what about this boat? Can, uh, can you tell us about this boat? Please? Yeah, so this is the boat that actually people use for, you know, like, like making an income. Uh, like you see the, the guy over there. Okay. The boat is actually having some holes over there that makes the water come inside. Okay. So the guy, what he does most of the time is he comes here and okay. he cleans up the water and take the water outside so that the boat, the boat won't sink. Right. So that's that's what he does every single day to make his living. All right, man. Yeah, and he's getting paid more than like, like five dollars, man. You cannot believe it. Five dollars. Five dollars. That's that's how much he's getting paid every day. Wow. Yeah, just because. Nicholas, yeah, so those are the fishing boats as you can see them and that's the uh, that's the machine the engines you know I don't really I'm not really an expert I cannot really talk a lot of stuff about them but yeah. that's the engine that's what they use uh, on the boat to make the boat work and I think that's pretty much more and then uh, right from here I think we're gonna go all the way there and I'll be showing you the type of fishes that we catch by using the boats like that those are we got a lot of we got a lot of stuff. Man. We got a lot of stuff. Man. So don't go nowhere.
with the Hey Who News, Hey Who News Radio. Right now I'm going to buy a palm oil. I want to show you guys the palm oil, the oil that we use here now. We actually they put on a, they put on a fish, small fish, whatever. Like they use uh, they use it to cook. They use it um you know maybe to fry some fish and everything. Yeah, it's a five five hundred five five hundred shilling, like a half a half of fifty cents, and this is a five hundred. Um, sometimes when they go fishing they just catch a lot of fishes and they have nowhere to put them so what these ladies do is when, once they catch those fishes they just they just fry them you know once the fish is fried it can even stay for years or even for like uh, uh, four months five months like, like in sewing etc 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 I see some fish over here uh -huh. yeah um, there's a lot of fish over here actually um it's not really like a straight up burning but it's like she's burning them for a little bit so that the fish can like really stay dry on the outside so that the fish can stay longer enough without being uh without being uh, uh without getting bad okay i see a lot of fish out there bro yeah yeah that's pretty much more of the same thing except, okay. except what she does uh, what, what she's doing over there is that she wants the fish to get the fire like to get the heat right inside okay. so that's what she's doing but it's pretty much more of the same thing that like she wants to keep them Okay. Ah, yeah, man. Love this lady. So yeah, that's pretty much more of the, uh, of the day. We want you to stay tuned to Who News Radio. Yeah. Don't go nowhere. There's a lot of good stuff that we are actually, um, actually we are giving you a word that we're gonna keep you very amused, keep you very updated with what's really going on here in Africa. Yeah. So the is, next um, day we are actually gonna go uh, to the same city. This is actually keep it We're just gonna go uh, to keep it market. Yeah. And then keep you guys updated we have to with what you about the, uh, all the people selling. Uh, and the guy, this yeah. is your mama. She's not mama. She's African mama. She's yeah. She trying to get some money, man. She's hustling. Yeah. She's trying yeah, to get yeah. some money. So this is uh, Mgebuka. Yeah, Mgebuka. Mgebuka. Let's grab this. This together. is actually found in Kigoma. You, you, you are never going to find this kind of, kind of fish anywhere except Kigoma. Yeah, if you want to get anything, you yeah, get, you it get it from Hood News Radio. Radio. Mama, Sante Sana. Do you know Her name is Tausi Ali. <laughs> this is Mgebuka, that's what she's saying. <laughs> Where do you normally get this kind of fish? She's, uh, she's Tanganyika. saying I get this fish from Lake Tanganyika. Okay. That's Lake Tanganyika. Come on, where are you going to find a shuguri gani? Me, me, Baba. Uh. I'm going to find a shuguri gani. Where are you going to find a shuguri gani? Me, me, me. I'm going to find a shuguri gani. So I just asked her what do you actually do? And she yeah. said I do normal activities than who do you work as. And she's saying she's working as a cook. So All she right. cooks for those fishers that actually get out of the boat. When they are starving, they want to have something to eat. What's over there? The mama just gets something good for them. All right, man. Stay tuned, man. Stay tuned for more, uh, for more information about Africa. Don't go nowhere, man. Shout out to everybody in America, man. Shout out to Black City. Shout out to CEO John. Man, I don't know how to say, it, but it's a lot of good stuff coming up.